Alrighty, guys and gals. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I am Big E. We are back in classic Wrath of the Lich King. We are on our ogre. Goes by the name of Mudfeet. Nah, we're not. We're... Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, we're on human. This is our human priest right there. He is. We're entertaining an ogre here. Mr. Dirtfeet. We hooked him up with some murloc heads. He's very pleased with us. Now we're just dancing for his pleasure like a fool. Anyway, this is our human priest. He goes by the name of Holy. Hail. How's it going? Hail, says he. We're going to jump back into it. We're going to work on mud rock soup. And bugs. Such an odd name. I wonder if this is a reference to something. Uh, this is killing the turtles. We'll have to kill quite a few. It's a very poor drop rate. If we can get this done, we'll go back to Theramore. Well, probably go back to Theramore regardless of whether we get this done or not. We have several quests to turn in down there. And I'll check my mail. Pretty sure that's a spammer, gold seller. I report him every time. Never, ever, ever, never, ever have I ever gotten anything from Blizzard saying, hey, thanks for your report. This really makes a big difference. We'll take care of this immediately. I don't know if... I don't know. Maybe they... I mean, I just... I don't think they care, honestly. just don't think they really care. Or they don't have the resources. I can't imagine Blizzard not having the resources to have specific teams to work on things. And honestly, this would be so hard to be proactive about. You know, people just create new accounts. Just, you know, all the time spamming people who are part of these... Oh. Oh, I thought that was a rare. There is a rare whatever one of these things is called. He's, he walks like down around through here, I believe. Could be wrong, and I probably am. Can't get life root. Not been paying attention to my professions. I kind of want to sneak through here. I don't want to deal with raptors right now. I was thinking about queuing up for a BG. I was thinking about it. A little bit harder to get into if it's not called to arms, though. It takes a lot longer. This server is not quite what it used to be. This is Sky Fury. I mean, it's, it's by no means dead. I'm not saying that, but... Dungeon groups are pretty hard to come by at my level. So we don't need the Murlocs. We're looking for turtles, bro. We're looking for turtles. Let's get into it. Oh, I can get some strangle kelp there. Boy, I don't have uh, I don't have my buffs up. What a loser! Probably have to kill. How many of these do we need? We need eight. I wouldn't be surprised if we have to kill 30 or more. I have a counter add-on. Got it a while ago. I don't think it's enabled. It's called kill count. 
Yeah, it's not enabled right now. It'll show show you how many times total you've killed a certain mob across all of your characters, but also specific to your current character. Let's actually turn it on because I'm I'm curious. It's called kill track. Let's see if it loads in here. Yeah, so it's starting fresh, apparently. Have I killed? I don't know if I've killed any uh, turtles on this server because this has been our PvP thing. Yeah, so it's probably accurate right now. Oh, let's just get this. Let's get this freak out of the way. Look at him all freaky. What are you even doing? I still have a candy bar from Halloween. I don't even want to chase you down, sir. You better have something good. Give me that. Take it. It's good enough. Let's get down just to where the turtles are. This is like Murloc Town. Well, I'm I'm being generous and gracious. They live in huts, man. They live in huts, bro. Our fishing is maxed out at 150. Uh, it's worth... We haven't fished in a long time. Oh, my add-on. Yeah, my, I got my thing there. Let's see if we can... These floating wreckages are great to fish from. You can fish up chests and greed items and potions. Potions and herbs. Inventory is full. Inventory is full. Can fish up all kinds of good stuff. Boy, I have got to sell some garbage. Let me get rid of some gray stuff here because we're going to be filling our bags up. Smooth raptor skin. Metal stave. Where's garbage come from, bro? All right, it's good enough for now. I've got a little add-on, not an add-on. I made a macro. It's a fishing macro. I'll show it to you if anybody's interested. It's really, it's kind of handy. Only two casts out of that. So what it does, is it here? Yeah. So you can pause and copy this if you'd like. Just, um, you can also use this for a bobble. You can have this so it equips your fishing pole from your bag. It automatically switches between your fishing pole and your weapon. You can set it so that it applies a bobble, and then it'll cast, which is use 16, um, I think, whatever. But if you hold, so all you do is you hold the control key down. So if I hold the control key down, I'll switch back to, whoops. Wait, what? Why isn't that switching? Oh, wait, I switched my weapon. Is that what it is? I did. Okay, so that's why this isn't working. Uh, so this has to be Hypnotic Blade. You just have to switch this whenever you get a new weapon. Um, hypnotic. Uh, you have to make sure you spell it exactly right. So now if I save this. So what happens now? If I hit control, hold control and click once, I switch to my fishing pole. If I hold control and click again, it switches back to my weapon. Now, once my pole's equipped, then all I have to do is press the button and it fishes as normal there, if anybody cares. Kind of a quick little thing. But I used to have it set up to where it worked with whatever bobble was in my, um, my bag. 
Which is quite helpful if you're fishing in an area where your skill isn't quite up to par for that area. Especially in classic. Especially. We gotta I gotta go to Stranglethorn Vale. Forgot these guys were on the beach. Let's get him since he's hostile. Looks like he needed to be uh, have his ass whipped. He's a goblin walking on the beach, minding his own business. We're not going to have it. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, we got to get our, our butts down to Booty Bay and talk to the fishing uh, trainer down there in the shack. Get expert fishing. I apparently must have spent a lot of time fishing. Probably did it off camera or something. I was probably doing it for food. So as you can see, we've got no... Uh, well, we've only killed two of them. Well, we've killed four because I the add-on I enabled after we killed two. But still... Busy day for me today. Got five or six hours of work. Uh, also have to get three videos recorded. If I've done one of them. I got a, a hardcore episode recorded. This is all for tomorrow, by the way. This comes out on Friday. It's Thursday morning for me. Uh, I have to get the Friday Fright Night recorded and then the the episode here on holy by the way uh the poll <clears throat> i put out on the channel for friday fright night outlast 2 did win the poll <clears throat> excuse me a lot of people want me to play a resident evil game or a game called soma sama i don't know how to say it i've never played it before but i checked out a couple of um like teaser video for it videos for it, it looks really good we're definitely going to be playing Resident Evil and Sama on the channel. Hello there. A solid chest? What an odd place. Chest. Yeah, that's not very secure. Garbage. Take the silver. Might have to turn the water noise off. It just doubled up on uh, Shadow Work Pain. It, it kind of drives me crazy. Doesn't really make any sense. You'll hear like waves breaking at a lake. You know, where there's no waves. This doesn't really. It's an ambience thing. I get it. Better turn around, punk. I'm going to cut the drink short. I don't feel like dealing with another one of those. Uh... I think we're going to have to deal with the goblin. Though. Maybe we can swim around them. It's nice you don't hear the, the waves crashing underwater. <clears throat> Anyway, I feel like I was talking about something, and I forgot. Oh, uh, this is recording the videos. Yeah, so uh, we're playing Outlast 2. I, I want that turtle meat. Oh, I got to open these chests. Let me get the turtle meat. It's going to take up inventory. Inventory is full. Yes, it is. Get rid of... Let's get rid of the gray items here. Oh, hello there. Look at that. It's just kind of a pretty rare, rare catch. 
So what this allows you to do, this weather beaten journal, you can actually track fish up here. But what it'll do is it'll it'll just show the pools of fish, right? Doesn't. But that can be helpful uh, if you're you know trying to find something specific, like specific pools or whatever. But for right now, we're gonna find it. Kind of cool. I have to get this goblin out of the way. He's bugging me. I can't stand the look of him. My old shaky right hand, man. I can't draw anymore. I haven't been able to draw. years talked about it a few times mostly because I'm self-conscious about this hand the way that it shakes this hand started shaking when I was a teenager <clears throat> I can't remember what the it's not like a disease or anything like that it's just some people have it some people don't have it my left hand steady as a rock but of course I'm right handed and I used to draw, and I, I think I'm a, I'm a fair artist. I'm not too bad, especially when I was younger. But I haven't been able to do it in so long. But I've got, um, you know, like journal or uh, what do they call them? Like art pads, full of, full of uh, kind of creepy pictures and stuff. Another reason it kind of bothers me is. I have very neat handwriting. Well, I used to have very neat handwriting. That developed in high school when I took uh, a drafting class, like mechanical drawing, it was actually called. I loved that class, but they teach you how to print really, really neatly, and it stuck with me. Now, my hand shakes so bad, if I have to write on an envelope or something, That's, that kind of sucks. Anytime I have weight in it, like if it's, if I don't have any weight in it, it's not that bad. You can see it a little bit, but if I put weight in this hand, see that? <laughs> so a lot of times you'll see me do this. I'll switch it to my left hand, which doesn't shake and I'll drink like that on camera, but it, it I'm a little self-conscious about it. Audrey Hepburn had it. And a doctor told me what it was when I was young. I was in my 20s, I think. And he noticed it. And he told me what it was. He's like, you don't worry about it. It's like, you don't have a disease or anything. It's just uh, some humans have it and some humans don't have it. Let's have a little drink. We're going to be maxing out our mental strength. We're going to get our intellect up. Uh, I guess that'll go up to 15%. Then we're going to look further down to this into this discipline tree. I do have a glyph, a minor glyph I could use there. Huh? I wonder if I wonder if Drew is watching or Duck Lord or any of my... What are you fucking talking about? You're not the guild master. Not on this character. I'll have to take a look at the auction house. See if I can get something useful. I used to think these minor glyphs were just purely cosmetic, but I don't think that's the case. I, I think they've got some pretty useful... Um, some of them are fairly useful. Just, these, this, these waves crashing are just driving me nuts. You can't specifically turn them down. You have to turn down... Uh, other stuff as well. You just can't specifically turn that off. Don't think. Let's check. System. Yeah, you'd think it would be ambient. What is ambient? Well met. 
Okay. Well, let's do that. What do we have here? Oily black mouth? We've only gotten two. So we've killed this 12 times. I know it says 10, but we had two before we turned the add on. And we've gotten two times. My patience over the years with quests like this are so bad. I would say I have none. I'd say I have none. But this is just, I don't know. We're just doing some chill leveling here. So we're just going to grind it out. I just like complaining about it, really. I, I feel like that's just, that's what it is. It's the complaining satisfies me. This turtle meat is great for cooking. Yes, it is. How is our cooking? Let's have a look at it. Oh, it's maxed out too. So we have to go to Ashenvale to the Silver Wind Refuge and buy the cooking book. I'll have to make some journeys here pretty soon. Because I'm wasting, uh, I'm wasting valuable fishing casts. Also, there's an add-on I use. Let's see if it's working. I might not have it turned on. I do. So you see where it says at the top, the Barons, and it has the level range for each zone. But underneath that, it says fishing. That's the level fishing you need for each area. The add-on is called Leatrix Maps, and it does a whole bunch of other stuff. All kinds of, of other stuff that I don't even use, but you're interested. Now, I have a I have trouble with it between, like, just different versions. Classic and Wrath. Uh, you wouldn't think there would be a big, di big difference, but there is. So just make sure if you're, try if you're playing in a specific version of the game... I get my add-ons from a place called Curse Forge, I think it's called. Just make sure you've got the right, you know, it's updated and all that, but it's pretty handy if you're a, you know, if you're a fisher. Because if your fishing isn't up to the required level, you can use a lure, but you're going to need a good one. Like at least plus 75 because of the way fishing works in this game. It's kind of kind of jacked. Fishing is not fun to level. You get to those higher levels, you're having to cast between 10 and 15 times to gain a single skill point. It's a little bit ridiculous. All right, well, we're going to go turn these quests in. We'll grind that. I guess we'll grind it when we grind it. But at that rate, we're going to have to kill like 60, 70 freaking turtles. Let's turn our ambience back up here. Turn the music down. But it's pretty loud in here. Tabitha's Farm. Let's really like Tabitha's Farm, but let's pick this what up. Can I do for you? Just so we have it. Around. The Quagmire. The Giggity. Check that mail. Hey, bro. Morgan Stern. Hello. Walks around with a rolling pin like a lunatic. Stinky's escaped. Safe travels. Mr. Ignatz was just here with the bog bean leaves, and he told me you helped him out. Of some real trouble. Good speaking. Thank you, Holly. I will ask my uncle to treat you to a feast the next time you visit the Blue Recruits and Stormwind. Oh, that's his uncle. Interesting. I know who, uh, who he's talking about. We get an elixir of fortitude here. That's not too bad. See you later. Maybe save that for, uh, for a BG. Let's sell. What are you looking for? I, I need to browse your goods. I need to browse all of them. Oh, I've got a tasty lion steak there. Yes, sir. Move that over there. Oh, oh boy. I boy, I have to remember that. So when I equipped the fishing pole. No, no, wait a minute. Why wasn't that equipped? The fishing pole. Hold on, let me check something here. Oh, it does. Because it's two-handed. 
it's a two-handed item. So you can fix this. I'm going to fix that macro so that it equips that back into my hand. Okay. Uh, focus. Got some wool. We got some silk. Got a lot of herbs here. Going to wait. We need a trip to the bank. We also have some extra food up here. There's a great recipe for the turtle meat. That's why we have to get our cooking up. I'm just selling this stuff. I don't care about the tiger meat. Gold ore worth ten silver. I'll go ahead and sell it and not make any money off of it. Guess that's a quest item we need. Selling that. Save that. Thick leather, murloc scale. I don't really care about any of this. I was contemplating for PvP. I feel like these might be better for PvP. It's not a bad thing to stack Stam, right? Hold on to those. These... No, I'm not trading 80 health and 6 spell power there. I know Spirit's great for us, but we just can't wear those. King's Blood. Yeah, we don't want that. Hang on to that. This is all cooking supplies. What are we drinking? We're drinking the 1992 stuff. 1992. I would have been 22 years old, man. And this raised our crit chance when we equipped it this way, but we do lo lose spell power overall. But I'm going to hang on to both of those things. Um, can we get any upgraded? No, we, we can't. To level 45. Wow, that's a long way before we get the, the better the better drinks. Let's just do that. All right. Have a good one. Yeah, you have a good one. Let's check our mail. Report it. Bastard for uh, gold selling. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> in a an appropriate communication advertisement, gold seller. Somebody's going to be on this just immediately. Blizzard's on that. I wonder if I'll ever be like a big enough YouTuber. To where Blizzard will they like have somebody who monitors my channel, like watching it. <laughs> Probably not. First aid. How are we doing on first aid? <laughs> we don't even care. We don't even care about first aid. I mean, obviously, I'm a fanboy. I rolled my first character December 2004, man. Greetings. Greetings. Go with honor, friend. I will. Life bless you. A grim connection. I've spoken with Inspector Tarman regarding the evidence you gathered from the ruins of the Shady Rest Inn. He seems certain that the hoofprints and the shields you found there point to the Grim Totem Clan of Torin. Wow, what a clever guy. He saw hoofprints? Uh, maybe it was a pack of wild horses. With reports of grim totem activity on the rise in the marsh, this has to be more than a mere coincidence. I'm sending you to speak with Captain Daryl, who was something of an expert on the grim totems. Follow the road north out of town to North Point Tower. It's the second outpost on the road. For the Alliance. For the Alliance, brother. All right, we'll do it. Sorry for being such a smartass, Captain Vimes. It's just kind of built in. It's in my blood. Let's do a little repair, make a little love, get down tonight. A chef. We'll check in with Dwayne here. Open for business. Good. Um, I'm looking for recipes. She ain't Safe got travels. no. She ain't got no. Probably buy it. What are you looking for? A crap ton of um. Uh. Linen cloth? Because I've got silk and wool. It wouldn't take us long to get our hour first aid up. 
Okay, so... Is that another quest? What is that? Am I looking for somebody? So here's where we're going to go eventually. We also can go here. I'm out of range. Out of range for running? What, what am I seeing there? Do I have to do something with the... Oh, it's this guy. This Okay, I see. Quest. Um, what are we doing on time? Ah, well, it's a half hour. I guess we'll wrap it up. Let's take a look at the quest log here. We have some things we need to just finish up. I think what we might do next episode, let's actually take a boat ride Um, to Eastern Kingdoms. And we're going to get ourselves down to Booty Bay. We This is an easy uh, turn in, but I also want to go to Booty Bay so that we can get the fishing book. I want to learn, get that skill up. We also need to get into Ash and Vale. So I don't know, maybe next episode we'll do some running around. Visit a couple of places. I can show people where to get the fishing book or the expert cookbook in case somebody does not know. We could even go get the first aid stuff from uh, Rathy Highlands. Yes, we could. Oh, let me change this macro. I changed my macro right here, right now. So all we do, we just want to I'll just copy that. Always seem wants to grab that the bottom one. Just grab the top, just tap. I'm gonna add a new line here, and then we just switch this. We rock in here. What is that thing called? Book of Depth. These um, capital letters have to be exact. Can't put stuff. I'm pretty sure. So now we switch over to the fishing pole. We click it again, and we should have both items. There we go. Handy little macro if anybody cares. Uh, I think we're going to wrap this one up here next episode. As I said, we'll probably be in Stranglethorn Vale. We could potentially see some world PvP out there. Who knows? Let's call this an episode. Thanks for hanging out, guys and gals. Take care, Mr. Holy and I. We'll catch you in the next episode. It's been fun.